Yo, good morning everybody. In today's video we're going to be talking about an upcoming RPG mobile game that has the potential to onboard millions of new players into the world of Web3. The game we're going to be talking about is called Guild of Guardians or GOG for short. The game is a dungeon crawler where you have a squad of four heroes where you go around killing monsters, looting dungeons and avoiding traps. A little bit like Diablo, the guild system is very important where you join a guild and you get to help your guild by crafting new and important items for the game basically they're trying to create an in-game economy through all the players by the world of nfts and using web3 tech everything is on a carbonless neutral blockchain which is ethereum's layer 2 scaling solution immutable x you can also go into token trove which is a second marketplace to go and buy the founder nfts right now i'll leave all the links in the description if you want to go and check out token trove or immutable x and find where the heroes are but here's some rare ones and li literally you can get ones for four dollars fifty five dollars just over five dollars for a rare hero and these are the founder edition heroes so here the founder editions this element fire there's a faction of horde and a class of range and there was only 7650 of these ones minted so if you go to like the all-time price high last january where it spiked up when there was a lot of hype around the game then it slowly died off towards may time and then it's kind of gone sideways pretty much for the rest of the year so what's going to happen is as soon as the game comes out these nfts are going to go up in value by loads probably to this maybe even reach new all-time highs not financial advice of course but that's just the way these kind of things work so you can go in and buy four rare heroes for just over 20 dollars and even these ones like fire you can get this fire no sorry horde 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 and horde you can go and get those four or you could just go into like get a faction go for empire and here you go you can get this one this one this one and this one so that's a range that's a mage and then you've got two tanks all for twenty dollars that's your team of empire which is the faction that all the synergies will work together like glade or horde and you can or you could even maybe go and get in a whole fire team so you can get three fire ones and rare but you don't have to go for rare you can get legendary ones so the next tier up is the epic ones and the cheapest ones are just under twenty dollars here wow they are pretty cheap i like the morax i've used him in the pre-alpha demo he's really good farah he's good he's ranged i've used him as well so when you're looking at them you've got like the fire purple diamond means that it's it's epic let's have a look at the cheapest legendary ones also oh, reborn so what guild of guardians are doing they're partnering with a lot of esports like nrg this was a founder or early adopters but it's from nrg which is the esports team and i think these were sold at like 300 dollars when they first came out 0.12 eth around january so yeah that would have been literally around 300 dollars and now look you can pick them up for like 0 0.2 which is 53 dollars wow it's so cheap i would definitely go and pick one of these reborns up if i was you i do have one of these uh i do have a legendary freer as well they're the only two legendaries i do have but i was thinking of getting some more i really want to get one of this serious because i do like the empire faction and he's fire and i was going to get a morak but i've used him and he's quite tanky he's really good and like he's very unique looking and they post a lot on socials about moraks and stuff so i for, you've got to get a morax and how much is it 23 dollars. but even if you're on such a shoestring budget you could easily go out and buy just four of the rare ones for around 20 dollars, which is going to give you a great start to the game so they also do have pets and they do have energy tokens and they do so they also have a pfp avatar set as well if you're really going to look into getting everything i'd get one pet because you can only use one pet at a time i have this funny looking fellow he's like a rare i got him i bought him on the drop and he got minted this one i can't remember what i paid for it again look at the graphs they all look the same they've all literally since march has gone flat sideways but as soon as this game does come out for sure the prices are going to go up definitely look at getting one pet maybe like uh these ones are cheap 15 dollars for these three and then you've got all a base copy of each different one which is a scout a hunter and a worker if you go up in value to these ones these ones are the next rarity up 20 dollars again and then the next rarity you're looking at like 80 dollars and then if you go for a legendary one you've got 
like nearly 400, 500 and 700 for the dragons. Also, there is an energy token which you can go and buy, which will give you an additional energy to play the game. If you want to own and run your own guild, you can buy a guild token, which they are currently at $350 or the energy tokens are at just over 33. I definitely recommend if you're a player to pick up one of these and you want to be able to get an advantage over the free to play players. If you want to run your own guild, then you can get the bronze level one for 350, which is quite cheap. I remember these trading for well over one Ethereum. Let's have a look. Oh my God, someone sold one for 0 0.2 on the 4th of December. What a snipe that was. That's ridiculous. People are just throwing them away. So they were selling for way over 100. Yeah, back in January, they were like 1.3, 1.4 Ethereum. That was when Ethereum was like three to $4,000 as well. And now they are a fraction of the cost, but you will have to assemble your own guild members and be running it in Discord and be active to, to have one of these. But that's what the game economy relies on. All your guilds, everyone working together, crafting items, selling them on the marketplace, leveling up together. That's the fun of it. Guild of Guardians. I really do believe this game has the potential to onboard a lot of players with the free to play way but you've got all the web 3 in-game economies which is lacking for things like world of warcraft runescape all them sort of games that it's not official that you can actually buy and sell your stuff into the white paper here's a good infographic of showing you what different factions there are with empire glade and horde and then you have the three classes of heroes ranged melee mage and then all the different elements like earth fire water dark and light and then the common rare epic and legendary rarities pets then you have workers scouts and hunters all this stuff is what you can literally go out and plan for your synergies of your squad if you want to set up a team ready to, for the game to launch, which should be early next year. So the in-game token is called GOG token and you will be able to earn this by playing along and then you can stake it and it's like a governance token. So here's a different level of guilds and you can get like that was the bronze one where you get a guaranteed 31% of the cut from what the guild makes. Mythic guilds 10% and again you, you're limited on the amount of members you can have per guild. So if you did went and buy that $350 one you'd only be able to get 20 guild members. Final thoughts and I've played both the pre-alpha demos and I really enjoyed them very much. I'm really excited for it. I've got my heroes ready. I do want to get some more so I just wanted to make everyone aware of it because I do believe that guild of guardians will be a big hit in 2023 coming up for the next year thanks for watching everyone bye